Well, what a way to close the week. S&P futures started really strong, breaking through that psychologically important 2900 area to levels not seen since early October. All of this on a barrage of good news, including China export numbers very strong. Also, bank lending came out much better than expected. On our shores, J.P. Morgan started off the uh, official earnings season pretty darn good uh, uh, earnings. Also, Disney rallied on a streaming analyst uh, meeting, really got people excited. Globex volume, very, very heavy. Towards the close of the day, uh, financials outperforming within the S&P 500. Tech and industrials are modestly outperforming, whereas home builders' transportations are mixed and lagging in the S&P 500 would be utilities and the REITs. Um, the market did have about a 24-point range today. Futures volume heavy, uh, option uh, volatility first first three months option volatility down ever so slightly uh, six to nine month uh, volatility basically unchanged on actually heavy volume as well well the earnings uh, season is officially going on next week uh, the market will continue to focus on bank earnings that come out um, also on wednesday of next week traders are watching china has gdp as well as retail sales and industrial production. People think that right now that the market might be getting ahead of itself given earnings expectations for 2019 and 20, uh, but the market is assigning about a 16 times multiple. Perhaps we can see a little bit higher than this. Right now, there seems to be no end of the bull market, at least on Friday.